I will do this a little bit more regularly where you guys can ask me and I'll just answer right away. I want an exercise um, for the forehead that removes fine lines. Throughout our life, we are expressing ourselves and we show how we are like excited or like how we are stressed. This, everything shows up right here. But also through life, when we are walking, for example, and holding our phones like this, what happens right here? We are tensing our neck and therefore the blood or lymph flow cannot really like um, flow three freely because we have like um, very important pathways. Your clavicle bones literally push into this area. So you inhibit blood circulation and then you start maybe looking into creams or skincare. But this, if you put a cream on topically on your face, it will not change this. And therefore all the vital blood flow is not going into your face anymore. So what we want to do actually is, um, because everything is connected, is actually opening our shoulders seeing how the clavicle bone goes um, more straight, everything can run through here freely, lymphatic drainage can drain, your, your posture is also upright, and therefore uh, you're not like pulling your skin basically down. Because also what is important, and then we are going also into the forehead, is if you're sitting like this, at some point, since everything in the body is connected, things will move down here and you create those wrinkles. So long story short, before we touch our faces and before we do anything, we are opening our shoulders and we are opening our chest to make sure that our clavicle bones are um, even. And as if someone is pulling us um, from the back, um, we can even like slightly tuck our chin a little bit inside and this is how our general posture would be. I have to honestly say I am not the bad I best either because I am oftentimes also uh, working on the computer. So at least having the awareness, maybe put uh, an alarm on your phone where you are like sometimes, hey, I um, need to stand up every hour and at least like open up my chest and do some exercises which I can show you. We can do a test right away. Check in the mirror if they are like a little bit more up, then you can be very certain that in the long run you will get wrinkles, puffiness, swelling in the face and all of that because lymphatic drainage is not going through. So the higher they are, the more they're pressing into everything, in, into all the vessels which are basically pumping all the life force into your beautiful faces. No cream, nothing will help. So check your clavicle bones um, or color bones. So next thing is actually the scalp. Another test which you can do is check how elastic your scalp is and you can go through it um, through your entire head and basically move it and also check um, how elastic it is. It should literally give you this range of motion in uh, moving entirely all over your face. So if this is not happening and you even feel like you have um, a little swelling going on, you can start slowly but surely opening up these pathways, massaging this. Because what happens then with forehead wrinkles is that if you are moving your forehead like this, the movement can easily walk through because the scalp is basically your extension of your face. So it's an amazing way to also test um, why you have forehead wrinkles if your scalp is not elastic. Do massages around the scalp to get rid of uh, wrinkles on your forehead with working on your posture. This is really the basis. This is the one-on-one -on -one when it comes to your beautiful faces. So there's really no cream which will give you these results. Oftentimes we think fat is causing our double chin when in reality it's this area right here stagnation and then the fluid which is in your face basically runs around here and uh, then accumulates and then you think you're fat when in reality it's actually limb fluid which we can work with our posture, work with scalp massages and the right tongue posture is so important for your double chin which you can actually, it's a cool exercise also um, part of my app um, which you can find at allyoucanface.com where you are basically putting the tongue against the roof of your mouth and you say N and when you say N your tongue is uh, pushing against a certain point. This is the point your tongue should not move past. So you're saying N, you are starting to swallow. And then once you start to swallow, you create a vacuum. So this is the tongue and it like sucks right under your um, roof of the mouth. And this is the posture you should hold. And then if you have, and this is a little bit disgusting, if you have a little bit saliva and it's on top, start to swallow it and move the tongue up. So it looks like this. N. 
Then the last step in mewing, which is not discussed enough, is actually to tuck your chin a little bit in. And this is the best posture you can have throughout your day. Long term, you will also breathe through the nose, which is so important because um, it inhibits uh, you getting cold or um, sick easily. And um, it's just an amazing way to um, go through life. And it's such a cool hack. So um, try to do that whenever you remember. Also working out, breathing through the nose, walking through life, breathing through the nose is so, so important. So what else? How to get a chubby face? or chubby cheeks. I assume if you mean uh, chubby cheeks, it's basically like get lifted cheeks. So uh, lifted cheeks we can absolutely achieve with facial exercises because you can basically work on that muscle and lift it up and therefore create this plumpness. But what is also very important is after any facial exercise, you want to relax and release the tension from the area because we never want to have muscles in spasm, meaning in tension. And um, when it comes to chubby cheeks, so the muscle, we can work out. If you want to accumulate a little bit more fat in the in those areas, it's definitely not possible. Or vice versa, lose fat in the face. Because um, when doing certain exercises in the face, you never can control where the fat is moving or not. It's just like when you are working out your body. You never understand um, where the fat goes away um, the fastest. Oftentimes it's the areas we do not want to get the fat um, off. But um, unfortunately, our body is like this um, positioned like that. And not a lot of people are uh, speaking about, speaking of fat, you, girls especially, you wanna have fat. You wanna have, eat healthy fats, especially like your avocado, your nuts, your um, fatty fishes, good oils like um, virgin olive oil. Um, all of that is so important for your face because honestly, fat, is youth so the um, younger we are we have like chubby cheeks and we are like having stuffing in our face to make us look young um, this goes away with age so everything moves down um, everything is get sucked in and especially for everyone anyone who wants to actually reduce this fatty pose right here like a lot of celebrities are reducing their fatty pose right here and look like this and maybe it looks good for like couple of years because the cheekbones are more prominent but you are literally uh, taking your vital important fat which is the fat of youth so to speak out of your face and long term everything will fall down your face will not have the structure to um, uh, or your skin will not have the structure to fall onto something um, plump and therefore you will just look way much older then maybe something about uh, nasolabial folds this area right here nasolabial folds can have um, different root causes once you understand where it comes from you can also kill this um, problem at the root cause rather than maybe putting filler in it which i would absolutely not suggest or maybe uh, putting a random cream which will not necessarily do anything so how these nasolabial lines accumulate it's again your posture and oftentimes the tension of your jaw. So the masseter muscle, is uh, masseter muscle is extremely strong. And once it gets tense, which oftentimes happens when we are stressed, when we are just like uh, going through our life, we hold a lot of tension right here. This will push everything up right here and the muscle goes um, until here. So everything starts to push, including this. And then we look at some point like this and then the uh, area like this goes down and this is how we age. Start to release the tension of your jaw. Open your mouth, use these um, areas right here from your knuckles and then glide gently but with firm pressure, very slowly down your jaw. Imagine you are moving through butter. You are not just um, topically moving onto it, you really go into the muscle. And if you feel your tissue is not letting you, then you're stopping and you're really feeling into it. It's an amazing move to do regularly. Whenever you wake up, whenever you watch Netflix or whenever you go to bed. It's um, the hot tip, I think, of the day. Work on your masseter muscle to improve um, the face in general. What else do we have? Let's actually speak about under eyes. That's a really good question as well. Uh, let's speak about uh, hollowness. What you can do is uh, doing massages around this area to increase blood circulation. But if you use, uh, if you do massages, which are a little bit stronger, which I have in my app, I mean, one is for example, it's a very, very simple technique. You can, for example, really like move around the bone right here and press it. 
never be afraid to touch your face never go into the tissue be afraid of um, touching your tissue we never want to pull the skin but we want to go really deep and this is um, so important and uh, so cool to know because um, once you're doing that you are really restructuring your face paired with mewing where you're putting the tongue in the roof of your mouth it's uh, an incredible um, way to uh, work on your beauty without even putting any creams. Maybe to uh, finish off the eye area topic uh, when it comes to wrinkles. So wrinkles occur around this area through several problems. So basically if you are over tensed, then the muscle is in spasm. The skin basically has nowhere to move and it starts to crease. And oftentimes also it is, uh, another fact is dehydration around this area right here. So um, use your skincare around the eyes, um, use hyaluronic acid and then top it off with a um, thick moisturizer. Then never forget sunscreen because this area is really the thinnest in terms of skin in our body. And if you are not putting sunscreen around this area, you are really um, making yourself a disservice and causing wrinkles. Uh, the tension, I can actually show you a couple of things um, what we can do. And we can start like literally um, placing our fingers like this and move in outwards motion up and out, up and out and release. You are releasing the tension and also re um, how do you say decreasing crow's feet uh, in that manner. Um, and what you can also do is um, massaging with the ring finger, I would say, in this area right here. Go inside and out, go inside and out. Do this for a couple of times because you're increasing blood circulation, you're releasing the tension and overall uh, relaxing the muscle. And this is what we want to decrease the spasm in, the, um, in this area. And then another thing is warmth. So especially when you are sitting in front of your computer a lot or in terms of your phone, your eyes get strained. So what we can do, we make our hands really, really hot and we press them gently onto our eyes and we hold this for a couple of seconds um, if you're doing it with me i hope you do just relax just breathe through it we are not used to um, taking the time and just doing nothing we are like actually our brain is like oh my god what am i doing here this feels weird and awkward stay in here actually stay in here way much longer than i will and remove because you will just calm your nervous system down. You will calm this area right here and will right away give more blood flow into this area and you will feel a little bit more awake. So um, I hope this was um, a good little tip when it comes to the eyes. Can you use uh, coconut oil for face yoga? It is actually on the more comedogenic side, meaning the um, molecular structure of um, coconut oil is a little bit more big. So it supposedly also, how do you say, um, can clog the pores. But if it's not the case for you, absolutely do it. Um, some people cannot tolerate it. So I just wanted to say that as well. Someone is asking about buccal fat removal and um, she thinks that she has the same uh, falling down of the face uh, when it comes uh, due to acne scars. This can be the case because um, what scarring does to our tissue is basically uh, it prohibits sufficient uh, blood flow into this area because it's a scar tissue. It's it's a strong word, but it's a little bit like more like not very lively dead tissue. If you are too strong on your lasers and you are literally lasering all your pores away, what you are actually doing, you are making scar tissue. So it will look of course very smooth and beautiful and you see like I just yesterday saw a video where people were stamping these lasers onto their face and it looks just like wow flawless. And yes it does in the beginning but what you're actually doing you are um, in the long run prohibiting all these capillaries all the vital blood vessels to uh, work for your skin because they cannot reach it anymore because this tissue is just not really lively anymore. Try to naturally gain this blood pathways into your face through facial massages, exercises, uh, moving your body uh, in general because everything is connected. So it's very, very important in that regard. Some suggestions for oils. What are the best facial oils um, when you're doing uh, face yoga? There are some great facial oils like, for example, squalene oil, which we all produce naturally in our skin. And it is an amazing oil to for basically every skin type. If you are tending to be a little bit more on the oily side, uh, look into jojoba oil because um, jojoba oil um, mimics our natural sebum, meaning our natural oils, and um, they can even almost dry out your skin. So be very careful. When I had crazy acne, I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna lather jojoba oil onto my face and it actually 
made the opposite. My skin was dehydrated um, and I kind of like messed up with my normal natural sebum production. So be careful with that. And then if you are very dry, you can get a very hydrational or hydrating oil, which is something like a marula oil. So there's literally an oil for any uh, skin concern, skin type, which I would love to um, share with you. Neck hump. Like try to move the tissue up and down. So we are really like getting into the hump, we are holding it and we are like releasing and stretching it out. And this can be done anytime. You can really like grab that tissue, like really like this and stretch out um, that area like this. And of course, uh, try to um, do also exercises, which like basically opens up your chest. Um, how old am I? I am actually 32. I think uh, we should embrace, embrace our age. A lot of people are sometimes uh, afraid to tell it, uh, which I find super strange. Um, but uh, with all you can face, I am not about anti-aging. I think this is also another important topic. I do not want to um, make you feel afraid of getting older, especially us ladies. I find it so unfair that the guys can get older and um, age as fine wine. Honestly, ladies, us too. And um, it's not about having no wrinkles at all. But I think what kind of wrinkles you have actually shows in your face um, in the long run and, and determines what kind of person you were. Because look, even if you close your eyes and you think of something positive, you are and now check your face or try to analyze um, how your face feels. It starts to lift a little bit. And now think about something quite sad or depressing. You will feel everything will fall down right away. And this is such a subtle thing, but what you are thinking and how you therefore express yourself will manifest in your face. And the beauty of uh, face yoga is, is that it's not only um, to really getting rid of wrinkles or something like, like a double chin, which is all good, but it actually gives you awareness over your body, over your um, face, and in the long run, you have more control over it. And um, releasing also the tension releases also stress, which we are hold in our body, and it's an amazing tool to um, gain back your happiness, well-being, and also your connection to yourself. What's good for uh, pigmentation? Um, while there's a bunch of skincare ingredients which uh, help you uh, fade pigmentation, for example, retinol, which is quite strong, vitamin C or azelaic acid, um, I think these are all amazing. First things first is uh, sunscreen. So this is really uh, the first thing. And then also a hidden uh, benefit of doing uh, facial exercises and massages. Once you start massaging your face, uh, you increase blood circulation, you are actually activating all these little um, pathways um, to your skin. Therefore, the skin can detoxify and you can lighten and brighten your skin and therefore also get rid of pigmentation. But that's a long haul. This is not something which happens overnight. But it's a great hack on between because you can see some before and after pictures of some of my students where they just like literally got a glow up in the skin. Okay, last questions. What does an ideal 10 to 15 minutes face routine look like? Maybe I'll go with you through my morning routine. Um, first and foremost, work on your posture. Maybe do 10 posture circles like this. Do some stretches. I'm doing that now in the fast mode. This muscle right here, you can start massaging it to increase blood flow. Work on your clavicle bones. Then uh, activate your lymph nodes right here and then you can go into uh, your uh, skincare routine so uh, if you are more on the dry side you don't have to cleanse your face you can actually go in um, with water um, if you are more on the oily side you can use a very very gentle cleanser in the morning please don't strip your skin then if you want you can use a serum but you can also follow up right away with your moisturizer then do um, a couple of face exercises i'm honestly uh, opening my app and I'm just doing the day which it just shows me and it keeps it always fresh and different and so I do that and then lastly I apply sunscreen and then I'm ready for the day and this literally takes me 10 to 15 minutes with that being said I'm sending you much love stay happy healthy safe and um, uh, till the next time Mwah.